So right now, uh, we, we just uh, uh, brought the sample back uh, from the site. Uh, as of the real time now, it's 10.15, uh, which is uh, just uh, slightly uh, less than half an hour from the time of sampling. So because of that, we are going to test for BOD first, and uh, so that we don't need to um, to preserve the sample, either to keep it cold or what. Okay, so within four hours uh, that you test your water sample uh, after sampling, you you do not need to uh, do any uh, preservation of the sample. So when we did the sampling, uh, we also did the labeling of the samples. Uh, which is very important part of sampling uh, so that by the time that you bring back to the lab um, sometimes the, the testing is being done by another person so they have all this information here so the important information that you need to provide here is the sample because sometimes you have a lot uh, more than one sample so you need to number it and then you need to specify where is the sampling location and usually sampling location you need to uh, best if you can uh, obtain the coordinate of the sampling location and then uh, the date of the sampling and the time and also the weather and who is the sampler okay so same thing goes to this you can always uh, um, label it like this as well so first thing we need to do when you, we bring the um, water sample back we need to measure for the pH of the water so most of the time uh, if let's say you have a handheld type of uh, pH meter you can always uh, use the handheld pH meter to uh, obtain the pH on site okay. so currently the, the pH is actually uh, dropping okay um, so we need to wait for the pH to uh, stabilize first so we can see that uh, it's very obvious that uh, the pH of the water is uh, between uh, 6 to 8 pH 6 to 8 So now uh, what we are doing is that uh, we are measuring the DO um, level for the water sample itself um, to make sure that uh, you have sufficient uh, dissolved oxygen to start off the BOD experiment without any dilution. So as you can see that the reading is fluctuating around 7.2 to 7.23. After we prepare the uh, half a liter of uh, water sample, this time we are not going to do any dilution because we expect the BOD to be uh, less than 7 milligrams per liter. So we use uh, the pipette to take one mil solution from each of uh, these reagents. So after we have uh, top up with the uh, reagents, so now we are filling it up to one liter of uh, uh, water sample without dilution. Yeah. So then now you need to use the glass rod to uh, stir the mixture so that uh, the reagent is uh, uniformly mixed in the solution. So now um, after we have uh, included the reagent inside. So uh, we are measuring the DO again. So this will be the uh, initial DO for your five day uh, BOD incubation. So you need to keep stirring. Make sure that your probe does not hit the wall of the beaker. Okay. So basically when you uh, stir, if you stir uh, faster, then it's going to uh, have a faster agitation. So that's the reason why the um, the DO is going up. So when you control your stirring, okay, you can see that the um, DO is actually uh, quite similar to what we saw just now, uh, which is around 7.2 to 7.3. Okay, uh, so this is the BOD bottle that is used uh, to contain the uh, water sample here. And uh, usually this BOD bottle, they are uh, amber. Um, it's not clear, it's amber, so that uh, you can uh, prevent the lights from going in and uh, contribute to photosynthesis which could um, contribute to the dissolved oxygen um, in water. 
and uh, usually these bottles here it comes with a, a, a flat cap here in order to prevent the um, air bubbles from uh, accumulating below it okay so now Shapiza is going to uh, fill up this bottle okay So what, what she's doing now is she's going to fill up the uh, water to the top, to the brink of the bottle. Right, and then she's going to use the, the, uh, the tip to knock on the walls of the bottle to make sure that there's no air bubbles that is uh, being trapped inside. So what we need to do now is to um, uh, make sure that the water sample is filled up to the top of the uh, bottle let it overflow okay let it overflow and then uh, when you cap it you have to go and tilt it a bit not right at the top you have to tilt the cover a bit okay to prevent any air bubbles trapped and then you just fluff it in okay so then uh, you, you can see that there's still water uh, that is uh, not in the bottle, so this one you just drain it off. Okay. Now uh, this one is uh, half a liter of uh, distilled water that we are going to do a one-to-one -one dilution, which is uh, a two times dilution for uh, the next sample. Okay. So now we are pouring in uh, the water sample into the dilution water with the reagent and then uh, we will stir using a glass rod okay, so make sure that it's uh, completely mixed so this is a one-to-one -one dilution okay, 0 0.5 uh, P0.5 Okay, so this is the um, one to one dilution. So now we are measuring for the uh, initial DO at day zero. So as you can see that the uh, DO is still uh, continuing to drop, which means to say that the uh, reading has still yet to stabilize. So as you can see here that the DO reading is uh, fluctuating around 7.4 to Okay, so now we are doing it for a blank sample okay, where it's only uh, distilled water. So right now we are taking the um, dissolved oxygen uh, reading for the blank sample. As you can see here is uh, fluctuating around 7.64. And uh, continue to stir gently for a while, and then you can see. Uh, make sure that the reading that you get is uh, representative. Okay, now it's dropping to 7.62, so it's fluctuating around 7.63. So this is a filling for the blank sample with the reagent bottle. Okay, so now we have uh, prepared the uh, BOD for a uh, blank um, sample without uh, dilution and sample with 1 uh, to 1 dilution or P0.5 Normally, uh, for each of these uh, sample for dilution without dilution and uh, with another different uh, level of dilution we normally will have more than one uh, replicates uh, to make sure that in case that there is any uh, outliers in the uh, reading then we can 
uh, uh, take the closer of the two so normally we have uh, three pickets for each of these uh, sample uh, dilution level Okay, so now we are going to put the uh, uh, sam put the BLD bottles into the uh, um, 20 degrees uh, Celsius uh, incubator. Okay. Right now it's already uh, five days of uh, incubation of uh, the BOD uh, samples um, at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is today is day six already. We have day six, so we'll be taking this one out. Right, so uh, this is the uh, uh, sample for blank. So we're going to measure the uh, DO.